Dave, from a political activist standpoint with what, you know, the, the strategy of Colin Kaepernick, did it work with what he was setting out to do? Uh, absolutely. And I love the way you asked that question, because I've been thinking a lot, Dan, about the action and then the deed. And there's so much focus on the action, the anthem question, not standing for it. We're not really looking at the deed, which is the idea of trying to start a broader discussion about dissatisfaction with how um, issues of police brutality and police violence are handled in this country. And if we look back at the last year, we've seen other athletes almost overwhelmingly African-American athletes trying to push this discussion more into the mainstream and using their form of sports. So uh, LeBron James, Carmelo, D. Wade, and Chris Paul did it in this very scripted fashion at the ESPYs. And they largely got praised for it for a couple of days, and then we forgot about it. Colin Kaepernick took a bold action. He also took a side. He didn't just say we need to bring peace to the community. He said there's a problem systemically and I'm going to stand up against it. And by taking it aside, he certainly invited a lot more hate. He invited a lot more criticism. He may even be jeopardizing his career. But if the goal was to have this discussion in a more full way, then you have to say mission accomplished. What's the one overriding question you have for Kaepernick? Michael, uh, what are you willing to sacrifice? How far are you willing to go with this? And it seems like he's answered that. But I think it's about to get a lot hotter. Uh, than it is right now. Um, I think there, there are open questions. I'm sure you've read them about whether he's going to stay on the 49ers that could or could not be for football reasons. But then the bigger question is, will another team take a flyer on what is an obviously talented player at a position that's bereft of talent? And that will really answer the question about NFL owners, about what matters more to them. Um, public relations, their uh, overwhelmingly right-wing politics, if you go by political donations, or winning games, because if the focus really is winning games, then you want Colin Kaepernick on at least half the teams in this league. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.